Welcome to the 4-Hour Project. I'm Jake and I'm using the 4-Hour Workweek to build a $40,000 a month business in the next year. But last week I decided that the rock climbing fitness product I had come up with following the process originally didn't meet my expectations for what was required. I would have made approximately $576 per month according to my data, whereas all of the example products Tim gave in the book generated over $3,000 a month based on their initial data. So. I would either have to sell the product for $416 or switch to something new. So I decided to pivot this week. So I'm not sure what to call it yet, but essentially it's gymnastics based strength moves, things like handstands, plunges, and other moves like that. Because I have had friends and random people at the gym come up and ask me how to learn them. And over the last few weeks, I've actually taught some of them and I feel like there's an organic interest. Essentially, I'm curious. Do people want to learn how to do this? So there are four sections to the four hour work weeks process. Market selection, product brainstorms, creating an offer, and then testing with customers. And really, because we selected this product, we don't need to do market selection with magazines again. When we've already done the product brainstorm since we have one, we just need to create the offer and then test with customers. And we can reuse a lot of the stuff that we've done already, but before we can get to making the website, we need to do a little bit of market research and see if anyone else has already done this. All right, so to research this, I suppose just Google how to do a handstand. Okay, so there's, there's some stuff out there. So first step is a SWOT analysis, S-W-O-T. Strength, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. I think that this is probably the best competitor, GMB's uh, different training programs. One thing that they have that I don't think that they're doing that well is that they clearly say you'll learn these strength moves and here's the daily progression and the timeline to do it in. And I think that that's all that most people want. Just to confirm that there's a lot of interest in this, there's a subreddit, the Bioweight Fitness, with almost 500,000 subscribers to it. Research on gymnastics bodies because I feel like they're my biggest competitor next to free YouTube workouts. The they give a number of 11,294 GMB clients who have signed up for this program. If 11,294 people purchase this at $95 a piece, that is $1,072,930. Let's do uh, some quick back of the envelope math. Where's, I don't have an envelope. So what's 0.33% of 15,000? That's 50 people. The numbers check out. We could make at least $3,500 per month with this. If I can capture just 0.33% of it, I would be making above the $3,000 a month target goal. I would rather test it and be proven wrong than potentially give up on an idea that might have made me some money. So at this point, I had gone through and understood a little bit about what the space was like. I knew that there were a lot of competitors but I only had a few vague notions about what my differentiator factor could be. Welcome to Wednesday. So we're going to a coffee house to finish up some competitor to research, but more importantly, use that competitor to research to flesh out a product. So there is a lot of information already out there. I don't know if I can differentiate myself. I want to be involved with this sport if I can because I love it so much. I don't know, I'm on the fence whether I can differentiate myself, but I'm gonna finish fleshing out the program tonight and we'll have to just run the test and see what people think. Essentially what I've come up with so far is that the hole in the market is that all the bodyweight fitness programs deal with gymnastics, but none of the weightlifting programs do. So I'm thinking that I can combine stuff like P90X and this gold metal bodies program, all this like gymnastics stuff, and I can merge this into one program that uses weightlifting and all that stuff to supplement the gymnastic strength training. So you can get strength moves like a plunge, a handstand, a front lever, all these gymnastic strength moves as quick as possible. There are a lot of programs out there, but I think that's an opportunity and I want to pursue it a little bit more. So now I have a differentiator combining weightlifting with bodyweight fitness to get you these gymnastic strength moves 
as quick as possible. I thought it was a unique enough twist that people might be interested, but I still wanted to flesh out this product and make it as good as it could be. And I needed some help to do that. Welcome to Thursday, guys. I'm gonna do two things. One, I'm gonna do a lot of reading today. And two, I'm going to send another message to my coach. He helped me with the first program, and this one is even more pizzazzy. Just sent off the message, so the rest of the day is gonna be spent doing reading. For the end of today is to have at least the structure of the program figured out and ideally one of the workouts. The internet is way too slow to get this stuff to actually work. I think we're gonna go someplace else. I did hear back from my coach actually, and he sent me a link to a book called Overcoming Gravity. This is the seminal book, and this is the one to read to make the program safe and effective to understand how a routine should be put together. And I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna take notes on it. This is Jeopardy. That book was a godsend. It is exactly what I want to create, just in print format rather than video. So, of course, I needed to test out what I learned. Welcome to Friday. We're doing a bodyweight workout today. That was actually really helpful, just going to the gym and being forced to say, this is a workout, just make it. Going to translate that, we have our first workout. The fact that I got one of these workouts done, I think that's good enough. I'm just gonna spend the rest of the night reading. Mm -hmm. 